Welcome back. You are looking live at a sentencing hearing that is just beginning this morning. It's deciding the future of Andre McDonald. Instead of the original charge of murder, a jury found McDonald uh, guilty of manslaughter, which is a lesser charge. Andre McDonald is facing a minimum of two years and a maximum of 20 years in prison for the death of his wife, Andreen, back in 2019. Her body found beaten, burned, and buried after an intense search. Andre admitted he did it and chose for District Court Judge Frank Castro and not a jury to decide his fate. Temperatures are near 70 right now. We'll be uh, near 74 this afternoon. We'll lose some of those clouds. Chances some showers tomorrow, some fog and drizzle as well. So a little bit of a damp start. Chances some storms Tuesday night. It does clear out Wednesday. Great weather Thursday and then cools down a little bit Friday into Saturday. We'll have another chance of some showers showing up on Sunday. Guys, thank you, Justin. SA Live, live out at the Cattle Drive too on Saturday. So fun. Let's, Let's head go. there now. Yep. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Ah, uh, yes, we are all mounted up and ready to ride side saddle here, <laughs> I think. <laughs> uh, yes, happy Friday, everybody. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. <laughs> and I'm Fiona Gorostiza. All right, our first guests today are from a group founded in 1990. These ladies uh, promote the art, beauty, and heritage of Mexican side saddle riding. And joining us today is Bernadette de la Garza with Escaramuza Rosa de Castilla and all of the beautiful Ladies, welcome everybody. Welcome. Okay. Okay. Thank you. okay, first of all, this is side saddle, right? Yes, side okay. saddle. And <laughs> this is, you are kind of precariously perched up here, needless to say, aren't you? Yes. So what's the trick to riding side saddle besides not falling off? Well, the trick is all balance. It's balance and being connected with your horse, so you have to be able to know. Do you feel connected with your horse? Sierra is an absolutely wonderful, <laughs> wonderful horse. And thank goodness for Oriana, who's helping me out here yes. as well. So, <laughs> All right, what does Escaramusa mean? Escaramusa dates back to 1950, um, and it started, you know, the Adelitas, which was part of the uh, Revolutionary War, um, and that's where Escaramusas, or, you know, the riders derive from, you know, from that history. So there's a, there's a lot of history, a lot of culture, you know, and, involved. And in competition, what do they have to do, and what do, I guess, you know, like, what do the judges look for? The judges uh, judge them on, on, um, on poise, mm -hmm. um, elegance, Poise and elegance, Okay. Mike. <laughs> well, and the, and the yes. other thing about the poise, too, is and precision. you uh, hang on <laughs> with your legs. And I don't know if you can see this on the side saddle, how this works here. But, I don't know if okay, you're doing it right. My left foot, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, know if either. I'm doing it right. Left foot is in the stirrup, and <laughs> you, then this you, one's over here, can, and my knee is supposed to mm -hmm. tuck in here. I can't really do that here without falling out. And then you can't hang on to the saddle at all, right? No. You get marked off for that. You get marked off. Okay, and then on top of that, you have to look so lovely and beautiful in these gorgeous outfits. Yes, there there is a uniform, you know, to the outfit. So that's there's also judging, you know, they judge on on the attire as well, on your boots, the spur, you know, um, everything. Everything. What what's the age range of the riders? They start them pretty young, so they can get used to the horses, and you know, and then just kind of you know release some of that you know discomfort or, or fear right. of a big horse okay. you know big animal um, but usually usually about eight eight years old they start riding in competition Wow Oriana how long have you been <laughs> riding I've been riding for about 10 plus years I started pretty young like when I was seven eight Wow and all the time on Sierra here yeah she's been my best friend for those 10 plus years and, and like we were talking about that's the whole the whole goal is that you are yeah, one. we're we're bonded. We're I mean, even if I don't see her for a while, I come back and we're still the the same. We're still bonded. Did you start off riding regular Western style? Um, I actually I think I started just like that side saddle, but it's all the same. I could do it just like that side saddle, straddle, bareback. Bareback is honestly my favorite. 
I'm more comfortable bareback. Can you gallop mm -hmm. riding side saddle? Yeah, I go fast, like spirit, free spirit. Because you get used mm -hmm. to, you know, as, yeah. you know, the horse's gait and rhythm, right? Yeah, the rhythm. You just go with the, you just go with the flow. Well, y'all have won a mantle full mm -hmm. of awards. Just to list, first place in cavalcade at the Battle Flowers Parade last year, first Petite Strawberry Festival Parade last year, Veterans Parade last year. <laughs> um, is there anything you haven't won, ladies? <laughs> yeah. What's next? <laughs> All right, so what's going to be coming up? You've got the um, the We've cattle got drive coming the up in a couple rodeo weeks. parade and hopefully the Battle of the Flowers, which you'll be seeing us there too. Hopefully okay. first place again. Uh, I'm sure you will be. <laughs> and then what's what's after that? What comes after the? Uh, well, the cattle competitions drive. they use, or, or the cattle cattle drive, you yeah. know, the rodeo, mm -hmm. uh, rodeo coming up after that. But you know, it, summertime is when all the com competition starts, and it typically starts about Labor Day. So it's not just rodeo season; it's year round. It's year round. Okay, and of course, you guys meet and greet dignitaries during your visits, right? All the time, which is really exciting. Well, this is absolutely beautiful, and to see them in the cattle drive, especially, yeah. it's just—I mean, it's so gorgeous watching you come down the street Thank like so that. Much. Best of luck. We will see you there. All right. For more information on Escaramuza Rosas de Castilla, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the "As Seen on SA Live" tab, or just scan that QR code on your screen. And Sierra, thank you for being a very gentle horse <laughs> with me sitting on top of you right now. Well, if you're looking to add a little fire to your next fun outing, Caliente Hot Glass can help you do just that. Whether it's a Valentine's date night or team building experience, or maybe you'd like to take on a new hobby this month. Our Jen Tobias Strusky is taking us inside to see some of the process. Hey there, Jen. Hey, such a cool process out here at Caliente Hot Glass. Glenn, one of the amazing artists, uh, Glenn, we're happy to be here. Now we're keeping this process going, so we're gonna take you along with us. So where are we at now? Well, now you're gonna take over and you're gonna keep turning with me. Okay. We're nice and hot. We're gonna start backing out really slow and turning nice and smooth. You're gonna bring your left hand up to me, way up here. Okay. We're gonna pick up and come over and we're gonna start rolling through the color. Just a little half turn and then stop and reset. And then we're gonna keep going around like that. Maybe another revolution to make sure we get as much color as we can. Then we're gonna head back in and melt it back on. So just the tip real gentle, tap it, and then we come back over, keep turning gently. Okay. And then we're gonna go in together, all the way back in, hands all the way back, and we're gonna start melting that color in. This hole runs at 2,100 degrees, so you can watch the color slowly melting into the clear. 2,100 degrees, y'all. And of course, we went with the Dallas Cowboy Blue. <laughs> oh, careful. Oh, and then oh, when oh, it goes high, okay. we let it fall in and uh -huh. nice and smooth. So we're gonna heat this for about another 10 or 15 seconds, then we're gonna go smooth it in because we need to cool it off and get some more clear glass around it. So we're gonna let that go for a few more seconds, and then I'm gonna take it back to smooth it in in four, three, two, one. So now we're gonna head over and smooth that in and cool it off. So we go back over to the marver here. Okay. And we wanna make sure this is nice and symmetrical and cool it off so that we can get another layer of clear to get enough material to actually make your heart with. Wow. So the colors, when they're hot, they look really weird. So your blue looks kind of green, the purple looks kind of black, but as it cools off, it goes back to normal. So now I'll bring it over and you can check it out. So there's your colors and they look pretty awesome. So this needs to cool right now, it correct? Needs. If I go in too hot in the furnace, then this will stretch out and strip off color into my clear furnace and that would be terrible. So we cool this off for just a minute and then we dip it back in the clear once it's cool enough. So what other classes do you offer here for those um, who are interested? Well, we try and do a lot of different seasonal classes. A lot of people come to all of them. So this is a sculpted heart, so they're solid. So people smashing on it and feeling the texture of it. And then we do like Christmas ornaments at the end of the year. We do mug classes and flower classes for Mother's Day. So we try and switch it up and let people have a different experience with it. Every with every around. season, really? Wow. Yeah, we try and like focus on changing up the experience so people get a new and different way to understand glass and experience it every time they come out. And so now that's about nice and cool, we're going to dip it back in the clear. Okay. So I'm going to dip it in and then I'm going to drip some off because I'm probably going to come back with a little more than I want. So I'll drip a tiny bit back in the furnace and then I'm going to come out and I'm going to drip it off in this bucket right here. So and this looks really of, cool, by the way. I love the way this looks. Wow. Dropping off the clear glass. It's like lava, right? Yeah, it is. And it's <laughs> a right around the same temperature. So wow. now we've got this big ingot of glass. I'm going to take a tiny heat and then I'm going to start shaping it into the teardrop that we're going to need for your heart. Once we have that teardrop shape, then you can smash it flat and we start sculpting it into an actual heart. So we're nice and hot. Now I'm going to back up and I'm going to start tooling it with this tool called the jacks. These tools are 2,000 years old. 
so 2,000 years old? Wow. Yeah, the art form is basically that old. And in order to control the glass, humans, when they first started playing with glass, they invented these tools and they've stayed the same for 2,000 years. So I'm shaping it out into the teardrop that we need. Once we get that foundational form, then you're gonna smash that flat and that's gonna start making it into a heart. But I need to stretch it out okay. and keep turning it so it doesn't drip off while it's this hot and okay. shape it out. Well, we're gonna let Glenn continue this process. Again, timing is everything, cooling, heating, all of that, but this will be what the finished product looks like. So we're gonna keep working here. Fiona and Mike will send it back to you. And when we come back from commercial break, we'll continue this process. Yeah, things are going to continue to heat up. Yeah, <laughs> that, is, that is absolutely fascinating. And the thing with glass blowing too, is the reason why we come back in another uh, segment is because you can't, once you start, you don't stop yeah. with that. Yeah. So, fascinating. We were out there a few years ago. Fascinating. It really was. Yeah. You were fascinated that it, day. It did. <laughs> yeah. Next on SA Live, have an ex that keeps bugging you? We're going to tell you how you can name an ex after a roach and feed it to a hungry animal. If you're not about the warm and fuzzy on Valentine's Day, you can get into the anti-Valentine's Day vibe right here at the San Antonio Zoo with these little guys. Cockroaches that you can name after your ex or just somebody that annoys you and then feed them to a hungry animal. Hmm, who tends to annoy me at times? I've got it. Okay, let's see who we're gonna go feed you to. Ooh. Director of Public Relations for the San Antonio Zoo, Kyle Perez joins me and is gonna be my anti-Valentine's Day partner in crime, right? Yes, that's <laughs> correct. So we have a really fun time happening here. It's Cry Me a Cockroach fundraiser. You know we're always looking for fun ways to keep people engaged at the zoo, but also raise some money because we're a nonprofit. Well, this How time- How does it work? <laughs> it's a lot of fun. So you can go on sazoo.org and you can purchase a cockroach, rodent, or a veggie. And actually, we will, when you purchase it, you can put in your name and we'll send you a video of us feeding it to an animal here at the zoo. Oh my goodness. So is it? it's not only popular here in San Antonio, right? Oh, that's right. So not all exes live in Texas. And since that's the case, this is a global phenomenon. So you can go be anywhere in the world and actually buy a rodent veggie or a roach and feed it to an animal and still get your Valentine's card. How many can you name? Sure, so there is no limit. Last year we had over 7,000 donors and made a great amount of money and for our vision to secure a future for wildlife. So hop on SAZU.org and go ahead and get your revenge because they're already part of the animal's diets, but now we're making it for a fun spin. So right now in the lead, the most popular name that's been submitted is Steven. So we'll see by the end of the week Week, who that ends up being for this Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh, our photographer is named Steven. Oh, Steven, I'm oh, sorry. No. Oh no. Okay, so now uh, basically I just have to name one of these uh, guys in here, right? Up and to you. And then, <laughs> then find a hungry animal, right? Right. Okay. All right. Shouldn't be hard around here, so the uh, hardest part's the name. Yes, okay. You're gonna come with me, okay? We're gonna think of something. This is Notch the opossum, and she loves eating roaches. So Notch, get ready, because it is snack time right now, and this is Michael P. Roachsterhage. Trivia this. Death. Let out the rage for a good cause. Name your cockroach today and feed it to a hungry animal at the San Antonio Zoo. For more information, visit the website sazoo.org or give them a call at 210-734-7184. Get a handmade Valentine's Day treat for your sweet. We make red hot bark and taste other gourmet treats next. All right, ooh, that looks so good. Yes, please, treats. Small gourmet treat company founded by two best friends and now they call each other 
Sweet mates. I love it. Those best <laughs> friends are right here, right now. Co-owners, Captain LeVere and Jennifer Mori. Welcome. Thank you. You brought the chocolate. What are we making today? Today we are going to make some of our bark. So okay. bark is a layer of milk chocolate, vanilla chocolate, and then candy on top. So how much how chocolate much, yeah. is right there? So this is a commercial tray. So there's about 40 ounces on here. At home, you can use your standard cookie sheet size. They sell the melting wafers at the grocery store. You can order them online. Sometimes it's called almond bark in the grocery store. Uh -huh. But you can just put it in a double broiler or in the microwave to melt it, which is what we've done here. Okay. And that's the first layer. And then you let it dry. Mm -hmm. And then we can add we've another this. layer. Yes, and, and y'all can help. Vanilla, so we okay. can... Pour it on here and smooth it out. There's just something satisfying about uh, seeing the melted chocolate mm. just pour out on there like that. So how did you all get started? Because you were sweet mates in college? Yes, we met at college. We were potluck sweet mates. Okay. And we both um, actually really enjoyed baking and cooking. And we had a lot of neat family recipes that turned out that um, now they're multi-generational. And over time, we've spent our time refining them, updating them a little bit. And um, so we just decided, we started as a corporate gift box company and now mm -hmm. we do, we're full time and we do um, sell online and we sell at Pinkies here in San Antonio across from Snippa's and Snipsa. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And then after we get this layer on, now it's time for. Yes, yeah, you can add the on top of So just go like this? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Perfect. That's, that's so graceful. <laughs> I know. You don't have to be perfect, which is why it's good for and us to do. And these recipes so. are multi-generational? Uh-huh, mm -hmm. they are. And so we make it now uh, lemon bark, we make butterscotch bark, we make salted caramel bark in both milk chocolate and dark chocolate. We also make two different kinds of fudge, a Mexican hot chocolate fudge, which is great also for Valentine's. Corners, Corners okay. And Excellent. then we have two kinds of savory nuts as well. So. Okay. 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 What's your favorite thing? If you had to eat one little thing. Oh, one so one it's just hard. I love the I love the red hot bark, but I also love the pecans. Okay. Those okay. Are and then, so after that, it gets to this point, right? Yes. This is it's, it's solid now, so you can take it up and you can just start breaking. Just, yeah, just start breaking, and then you can make a little dessert charcuterie board out of it, <laughs> and just set it right there on the. Board. Oh my gosh, look at this. And it's very <laughs> I'm <just> start eating it. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna use like the pieces that so ended just, up too small. Just very yeah. colorful and, and mm. it's great for Mother's and, Day. And the nice thing is this is very, very simple to do too. Yes, yeah, it easy. is simple to do and it makes you know a lot of people like dessert boards because you can take a bite or two of different things and then you don't feel like you've eaten too much. And the nice thing with the different flavors too, uh butterscotch bark, never had that before, and the lemon too. Folks can order off your website and you do ship, correct? We do so ship boxes yes. they can order. Mm -hmm. okay. They can order gift boxes here in San Antonio at Pinkies on McCullough. They have um, product there okay. that you can buy. Okay. Oh, this is delicious. Thank, thank, you, thank you so you much. much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Nice. For more information on Yes Please Treats, head to our website, salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab or just scan that QR code on your screen. Valentine's Day, of course, is coming up. You better start thinking about it now, gentlemen. And this small local business wants you to skip the traditional mm -hmm. sweets <laughs> and go for something sour. Yes, Carissa mm. Esparza, ambassador with Chamoy Imas, joins us with delicious Valentine's Day boxes. Yes, they're super popular. You know, you want to spice it up, get mm -hmm. get something different. You know, show your Valentine that you're a little bit different. So, so a lot of times with Valentine's, it's mm -hmm. sweets for the sweet. <laughs> yeah. How do you use that phrase but incorporate sour in there? Um, you know, for me, I, my go-to is like, get your sweetie something sour, you know? Spice ah, it up, change spice it up. Spice it up. Uh, okay. Yes. So, okay. this is the Valentine's box that yes. you get. Yes, this is our large box. So, it's going to come with six different chamoy-covered candies. Mm -hmm. Today, though, y'all are going to be building your own. All okay. right. So, okay. what are the candies that we have here? So, Fiona there has some watermelon bites. You have some gushers. And then we also have corn nuts. As as well as pickle belts and strawberry belts. Now, what's your most popular? Our most popular candy is definitely our Exploders. Just who doesn't love Gushers? So those are the Gushers? Yes, okay. yes. Huh. Well, a pretty good. A pretty good, okay. Mm -hmm, All right, what's the next uh, level of in, you know, intensity? Intense, uh -huh. so 
the watermelon bites, oh. the pickle belts, and oddly enough, the corn nuts are very sour. Okay, mm. so now no. you're gonna do one of these. Yeah. We're just gonna do them in succession. Okay. Wait, now I'm doing them, not yes. you. Yes, yes, totally. Well, someone's gotta, gotta keep this going. Yeah. Okay, ready? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so that was the watermelon bite. Watermelon bite. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. while while he's dealing with that, mm -hmm. how do you oh, come yeah. up with? <laughs> How do you come up with you know what you're going to put chamoy on? So usually we're sitting around having dinner, eating snacks, and uh, we kind of just think, what if we put chamoy on that? Uh -huh. Which is exactly how we came up with our corn nuts. We use the salsa picante corn nuts, and I was like, what if we put mango chamoy on them? Uh -huh. Those corn nuts are good because the crunch. That's what's different about it. instead of just the soft candy. So right. is that next as far as intensity? Yeah. All right, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere near. Okay. Well, Okay, a little bit on the to back it. end. Okay, long back. Yeah, mm -hmm. nowhere near what the watermelon bites was. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, all right, and then and so. Cleans my palate. Then, <laughs> yeah. What's what was next? The sour, um, the pickle belts. This one. Yes, and those will oh, turn y'all's tongues green. Just forewarning. Well, his. Okay. Yeah, his. <laughs> Do I just eat the whole thing? Go for it. I say yes. Well. yes. The audience says yes. Ask Give the people of this what one. they want, Mike. Okay. <laughs> All right, and so you also have smaller boxes, right? Yes, we have our large, medium, and small. So the large has six candies. The medium is going to have four, and then our small there is going to have three. How's it going? I'm glad you're enjoying it. It's going good. Okay, I'm glad I got that water for you yeah. over there. Okay. People love wow. those, right? Yeah, they do. We they're one of our most popular holiday items and we sell out every year. Like even for me to grab some for my friends is really tough. Let me see your tongue. Oh, your tongue! Do that again! Run at your tongue! Do it again! Do it again. Oh. You, look like, you look like you ate a leprechaun! Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you can just rinse it out before I'm the next one. Yeah, right, okay, so, okay. It's totally great. Okay, um, all right. Yes. So, <clears throat> Uh, how soon should they the get water? their orders in? So no. you, you can start ordering as soon as the day. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you for playing along. Thank so. you yeah. for being such I a great I opened the sport. Skittles for y'all as well. So oh, they're Skittles. Oh, they're Skittles. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> for more information on Chamoy E. Moss, just head to salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we provided a link or just scan the QR code on your screen. Welcome back to SA Live here at Historic Market Square. Well, if you're just joining us now, our Jen Tobias Strusky is in the middle of a glass blowing project over there at Caliente Hot Glass. Yeah, we just showed uh, the first process just a couple minutes ago, and now we're throwing it back to her out there as she continues to make this glass hard. Hey, Jen. That's right. Now it's time to smash, and I'll explain what that means. Well, actually, Glenn will as we bring over. So this is our teardrop. We're going to flip it over. Go ahead and start smashing it flat. Smash and slide. So again, nice oh. and heavy. That's just the wax burning off. Go again. Nice I need and heavy. more muscle. Okay. We're going to keep smashing. And sometimes thicker is better. Sometimes thinner is better. Just keep it going for another couple seconds. One more for fun. And now we've got a nice flattened out shape, which is not quite a heart. So we're going to torch this tip, and then you're going to carve the cleave in. Okay. So you're right where you are is perfect. I'm going to heat this. So this torch runs at about 4,000 degrees, and I'm heating it up, getting that tip nice and soft so all of it will move when you carve in the cleave. So here in another 10 seconds, we're going to go on, and you're going to carve the cleave in, and then we're going to start stretching it open, shaping it out, rounding it off. So we're going in six, five, So come over, I'm going to let it drip, and then I'm going to flip it over. So you go in three, two, one. Go ahead and smash it straight in. Looking good. Keep it going. And now lean it out a little bit, rudder it open a little bit. There you go. Now I'm going to flip it over so you can see the face. Now start shaping those out. Just kind of spreading that. Yes, exactly. Cut that around. Whoa. Cut that other sharper end around. That's really hot. I can feel it. Oh, yeah. You're looking at blast probably 1,800 degrees. A little more on that side. Looking good. So now we've got the base form of the heart, and then we also have this little excess material in the back. So we want to flatten that out and kind of give it a stand. So I'm going to heat this for just a few seconds, and you're going to head back to that spot where you smashed it. Okay. We're going to give it a little pet just to smooth it in and make sure it's nice and flat. And I'm coming over in 10 seconds. This helps to soften the glass, and then we're going to even out all of those excess points and push them in gently just to smooth it down some. So we'll take this, we'll come over, 
And then you come around. Yep. I'm, I'm going to set it down right here. Just give it a little bit of a pet. So go ahead right there. Give it a little pet. Smash it down. That's butt. So one more time. Just gently. Beautiful. So now we have your heart. And so that looks pretty great. I don't now it looks like a heart, good. right? Absolutely. Good <laughs> and, job. and anyone can come try this. Oh, yeah. We offer this out to the public. People come in and they start with uh, classes like this and start playing around with glass and making things. So at this point, now we can start working on taking it off. So I'm going to heat it right here, and that's going to get it nice and warm. And we're going to drip it off to make the tail of the heart as the tip. So as I heat this, all of that's starting to get softer, and then we want it literally to drip off so I can trim it and we can have a nice finished end. Because if we break it off, it's going to leave a very truncated, short, wide thing. So a little bit more heat, and then I'm going to head over and we're going to torch it off and then kind of bend the tail off with the form of the heart. I feel like it's a nice way to finish that moment. So now yes. we're nice and hot. We come over, we start torching some more. So we're torching here. Stripping off, and Ruth is going to catch it, and then we bend it off, trim it with the fire. And now I like to take this moment. We can get closer if you like, and we're going to pull it off a little bit. I like that curve. Once it chills it enough, then I just tap off the very end, and then fire follows it. Whoa! All right. You pretty much got through the whole process, right? A TV Absolutely. condensed version, Glenn. Thank you so much. Now this will need to heat for at least or cool in the 900 degree oven for about 24 hours, but eventually you'll get this and you can sign up for classes. We have all the information on our website. Can I give you a fist bump? You did great. Is he well not done. amazing? Wow. Fiona Mike? Yeah, that is fascinating. Very uh, cool. And what's funny, like uh -huh. she said, cool in a 900 degree oven. Yes, that for 24 hours. Yeah. Uh, very neat, Jen. Thank, Thank you, you so Jen. much. Very cool. <laughs> Again, for more information on Caliente Hot Glass, just go to our website. You know what to do. Yes. All right. And there's a new game show hitting the airwaves. We try our hand, or do we say seat, at Switch. See how we did. SA Live. Well, there are brand new game shows coming out, and we hear it sounds like a twist on musical chairs. And Jeff Hepner, host of Switch, is here to tell us more about it and let us try it out. At least, you know, the SA Live version of it. Hey there, Jeff. Hey, how are you? Thanks for having me. All right, since we're about to kind of play our version here, uh, tell us a little bit about Switch and how it works. All right, so Switch um, is a new trivia game that's different in the sense that we're not playing for points, right? We're playing for position. So everybody starts behind the numbers, either one down to five. If you get a question right, you're gonna make your way up towards the one. If you get it wrong, you're gonna make your way down towards the five. If you get it all right and you make your way all the way to the number one at the end of the game, you're gonna get a shot at $10,000. Okay, so $10,000, of course, is up for grabs. And you are also an actor. You've been in lots of movies and TV shows. Uh, you know, making the switch over to game shows. Tell us about that. It was bizarre, right? It was it was so wild. I, I have created such a process as an actor to breaking down a script and thinking of characters and researching characters. And and here I am now just winging it, right? Just going for it. And um, it has been an absolute joy. As a performer, I've learned, I've stretched all of that good stuff. But as a, as a guy, I've had a blast. I've just had an absolute ball. I've watched some, you know, clips of the show and you just mentioned joy. And one thing I noticed is the incredible energy on this show. What makes it so energetic? Yeah, it's the contestants, really, and, and the setting. You know, it's like, I, I am so in it with them. I am rooting for them. The, the fact that we have to move back and forth adds an element of confusion um, and delight. And, and when you get it right, you get to move. It's exciting. People get excited. And, and if you get it wrong, you're, you're, you're sad. You're, you're crestfallen. You move the other way. And so we get to this range of emotions that starts to swirl. And it creates just a really high energy uh, place to be. It's really, really fun. All right, so we are going to play Switch, or a close version of it. My co-host, Mike, is going to join me for this. He's here now, and you've got questions for us, and you're going to quiz us. And these questions are based on kind of TV shows and stuff that you've been in, right? <laughs> Uh, of course, of course. If I'm bringing questions, I'm going to make them about me. It's just it's <laughs> one of the parts of being an actor. I like his style. <laughs> All right, we're ready. 
Okay, question number one. Mars, which can be found on Disney Plus. Uh, the surface is red due to what chemical? Iron. Chromium, selenium, iron oxide, or hydrogen? C, iron oxide. C, iron oxide. I well, see, when in doubt, mark C. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ding, 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 you both get it right, so there will be no switch on this question. Question number two. Mars has two moons. One is called Phobos, but what is the other one called? Ganymede, Europa, Deimos, or Titan? Deimos, C. Deimos. <laughs> uh, Ganymede. Well, the, the answer is Deimos. So Fiona, you get it right. Mike, you get it wrong. Fiona moves up and Mike is gonna move down. So okay. you go and you, you start in question the, number guess, three. Five. Chicago has a few nicknames. Which one is not one of their nicknames? The Windy City, the City of Big Shoulders, the Great Lake City, or the Second City? C, Great B. Lake City. B. It is C, the Great Lake City. So Fiona, you get Wait, it right again. again. C. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go she back here. This strategy is working for you very well. <laughs> Question number four: Which world dictator, dictator donated the Balbo Monument to the city of Chicago? Mussolini, Hitler, Saddam Hussein, or Joseph Stalin? Oh, it's not C here. Not the other party you want to go to. A. He's going with A, I'll go B, I don't know. Mike says A? Balboa, he was in time. Fiona goes with B, the answer is A, it's Mussolini. Yes. So, uh, Mike, you get it right, Fiona, you get it wrong, it is time to switch. So you go there, okay. I go We are down to our last so question. I know. <laughs> okay. Okay, last question. Whoever is behind the highest number, closest to one, is gonna win. What is the name of the Chicago Bears stadium? <gasps> Lambeau Field, Wrigley Field, Soldier Field Soldier or the Field. Superdome? C. Soldier C. Field. We don't switch because we both got it. I know. <laughs> You're exactly right. It's C. It's Soldier Field. You both get it right. There's no switch on this question, but I think Mike is closer to one, so he's our champ. Yeah. <laughs> you guys. All, right. All right, well, you can Thank watch you guys. Switch that was fun. Thank on you, the sir. Game Show Network. Okay, for more information, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you again, Jeff. Thank you both. Coming up next on SA Live, I've got your insider deals. Welcome back to SA Live with us. a great deal to help you get cooking healthy. Yes, Insider Deals expert Tati Amare has a great deal on a Cuisinart food processor to chop all those fruits, nuts, and veggies, and she has some other fun finds too. Well, you all know that I love a good deal and I love sharing them even more. I have some awesome items that are stylish, practical, and super useful. To get shopping, just scan the QR code on your screen or head over to MorningSafe.com and look for the insider deals. Now first up, the Tamborat Half Carat Total Weight Inside Out Oval Hoop Earrings are what's trending in jewelry. Now these gorgeous hoops are ideal for all day wear from work to a night out. And I love that we have the option of 14 karat plated rose gold, yellow gold, or white gold. Now I'm getting one to match each and every outfit and I'm wearing the rose gold today, which I love. With shining cubic zirconia featured inside and out, it's no surprise that these are a customer favorite on MorningSave.com. Usually this highly rated set will put you back as much as $90, but with this insider deal, you can get a pair for $19.99, a huge discount of 78%, and now you can enjoy some bling without breaking the bank. Now let's keep leveling up our wardrobes with my next find that is both stylish and fabulously practical. The MKF Collection by Mia K. Salome Large Expandable Crossbody Bag is the best of both worlds and has a sleek design that's available in 20 colors to match any look. And it has enough compartments for everything to have its own organized and designated spot. Now this means no more frustration digging around the bottom of your bag to find your lipstick or your keys. The MKF brand is always a customer favorite on Morning Save. The customers love the high quality vegan leather and stylish and smart design. Now we've seen this for as much as $209, but with our insider deal, you can get one of these for $29.99, a whopping 86% off. 
These days we're all juggling multiple devices. And how many times have you woken up only to realize you didn't charge your phone, earbuds, or smartwatch? I have an awesome solution that charges everything in one place and also doubles as an alarm clock, saving you time and frustration. This is the Lifestyle Advanced Trio Powerhouse Charging Station. It's a wireless charging station that works by simply placing your devices on the platform. And it takes up very little space, which is always ideal. Now, with this clever design, we'll wake up ready to go. Now, we've seen these for as much as $100, but you can snag this insider deal for $29.99, a gigantic discount of 70%. Now, this next deal is the kind that my money-saving dreams are made of. This is something that I've wanted for my kitchen for a very long time, and now it's available for an incredible price point. I'm talking about the Cuisinart 7 Cup Prep 7 Food Processor. Now this beauty can handle just about any prep tasks, and the best part is that it can handle seven cups of ingredients in a matter of seconds. So go ahead and make that party-sized bowl of salsa or prep those veggies for a soup in a flash. Now Morning Save bought Cuisinart's remaining inventory, getting a huge discount that's being passed on to all of us, and this is an insanely good deal. We've seen this item for as much as $235, but with this exclusive insider deal, it's only $74.99, an incredible discount of 68% off. This kitchen staple is not to be missed out on at this amazing price point. I am no, I'm not gonna miss out on it, and I don't want you guys to miss out on these fabulous finds. So to snag these insider deals, scan the QR code on your screen or head over to morningsave.com and look for the insider deals. Remember, these are only available while supplies last and they won't last long. <laughs> Still want that cuisine. I know, you got all excited the, when that one was on. A, yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> I, I can I, to put it underneath the counter. You know, they could probably get you in that today. Hmm. <laughs> all right, to find, in that. <laughs> to, find, in the <laughs> to find these deals and more, just go to morningsave.com and look for insider deals. You'll find a link with all the details on ksat.com. <laughs> It's the 2023 Cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> All right, earlier we asked you, who's your favorite wrestler and why? Of course, there's Jen with Damian Priest. He's got the best voice of any wrestler, right. I think. Desiree says, my favorite wrestlers are Drew McIntyre, Ray Mysterio, Mysterio and... John Cena. Th and John Cena. Yeah. John Cena, mm -hmm. grants wishes for the Cancer Association Aww. called Make-A-Wish. Yes, Vicky. Kelly says, I've been watching the WWE since I was 15. I love all the old wrestling legends, most of all Undertaker. Ah, yes. And Randy Orton. Nobody's talking about Dick the Bruiser and Bobo Brazil. That's the shocking. Hulk. Oh, yeah. 